Yo. Today I'm going over how to make a free beat visualizer from scratch and I'll be showing you guys how to do this with DaVinci Resolve. It's a free editing software. I'll leave all the links for the softwares in the description as well. You guys seem to enjoy the first visualizer video that I made so I just wanted to make an updated version that's a bit quicker, a bit more concise. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do is go to blackmagicdesign.com and under there you'll find DaVinci Resolve 18 which is a free editing software. I've been using it for about three years now and it's by far the most user friendly and easiest software to understand. So as soon as you're on this website, you can just scroll down and click on download. It'll give you a bunch of options to start with, but just be sure to select your operating system. And for a beat visualizer, you only need the normal DaVinci Resolve. There's no need to download the studio version unless you want to use it for other types of editing. When you're done downloading and installing DaVinci Resolve, you can head to the second link in the description. And this is a software that allows your image or whatever you choose to react to your beat in DaVinci. So once again, as soon as you get to the side, just scroll down and you'll see React to 3 at the bottom. You can just keep on scrolling and you'll have a download link over here. Now that you have DaVinci Resolve and the Reactor software, you can go ahead and open up DaVinci. And before you start with anything, the first thing you need to do is go to the settings cog and be sure that your frames per second is set at 60 and that your resolution is 1920 by 1080. When you got that set, you can head over to the Fusion tab at the bottom here. And to actually install this Reactor software, it's as easy as just dragging and dropping it in the Fusion tab. As soon as you do that, you'll get this pop-up menu. You can just click on install and launch. It might take a few minutes for the software to load, so don't worry about it taking too long. As soon as it's done loading, you'll get this menu and then you can just type in suck less and scroll down until you see it. As you can see, I've got a tick next to mine because I've already installed it, but yours will be unticked. So just be sure to tick it and click on install. And as soon as you have that done, it's basically all the setup for the visualizer. So starting off, you need to get a fusion component from the tool section. You can just drag and drop it into the edit menu. And depending on what your brand is and what you want to do with your visualizer, you just need to decide on an image or a logo that you want to use that has a transparent background. As you can see with my type, channel a couple of months ago. I had this theme where I took pixel art images and I used it for my visualizer with a solid color background. So if the B is called diamond, for instance, I'll type in pixel art diamond and then I'll get one that I like and I'll just download it. And as you can see, this is a JPEG file, which means it has a background and that's not what we want. We want a PNG file. So to do this, you'll need to go to the third link in the description and that'll be remove.bg. And this is basically a website that removes any background of any image for you. So you can just drag and drop it into the website. After the the website does its thing you can just download it and now you need to go back to DaVinci and select your fusion component and go back to the fusion tab after that you can just drag and drop your png image into your fusion tab make sure the image is selected in your fusion tab and then click on this transform icon over here after that a transform node will appear attached to your image this might all look and sound very complicated but all you have to do is connect the transform one and the media out one now as you can see with the remove.bg website it did quite a good job but unfortunately there are some glitches in it it picks up some of the white pixels and makes it transparent as well. So to fix this, you can just go back to the website and click on edit, click on the erase restore menu, and then you can just zoom in on the image and restore the pixels that you want. So as soon as you got that fixed, you can head back to your fusion tab and then you need to go to your modifiers menu and under browse, you can go and select your beat. Now, as you can see, your image changed a bit, but don't worry too much. Now there's a lot of ways to do this, but I usually have a set way that I just stick to. That's kind of my template for my type B channel. And what I do is I'll select unassigned average. And then at the bottom here, you have two slides is the one is your amplitude offset and the other one is amplitude scale and what I usually do is I'll bump up my offset to just get my logo or image in frame and your scale slider is basically how hard your image will react to your beat and the setting I usually use for my scale is 0.42 like I said this is a lot of trial and error so just play around with these settings until you get something that you like so after that you can head back to your edit tab and now you'll see your image and if you press play it'll react to your beat but the next step is to actually drag and drop your beat into the project and then after that you just need to drag out your fusion component to match your beat. After that, I would usually just play the part where my drums come in so I can see how hard the image is reacting to the beat. And then you can just go back to your fusion settings to play around with it. Now, as you can see in this editing software, because I don't have a crazy PC, there are going to be some frame issues, but as soon as you export it out, everything will be fine. And that is basically everything. When you're done with that, you can just drag something into your background and then it's ready to go on YouTube. Now to export out your visualizer, you need to go to the export menu. And as soon as you get here, you can just give your beat a name and then click on browse and just select a place that you can save your visualizer. Another thing to mention with the export settings is just be sure that your format is on MP4 and that network optimization is enabled. After that, you can just click on 
on add to render queue and click on render all and that is basically everything when you're done with that you can just upload it on youtube and you're good to go so let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and thank you guys again for the constant love and support and i'll check you guys in the next one